Three times as many people in the U.S. believe in the virgin birth than believe in evolution. Richard Dawkins noted that we have more evidence for evolution than the Holocaust. Regardless of the fossil record, molecular genetics, astronomy, geographic distribution, the spread of species, and the similarities of DNA and anatomy, many continue to ignore the overwhelming evidence. Evolution? Duh! Excuse me, how can you put up an exhibit on the origin of man and not have one mention of the Bible? Oh, we do. So many of them say, for example, oh, you, how could you not be religious when you look at the beauty of a tree or a bird um, or or a kangaroo. I mean, how could, how could that just come about by chance? Well, of course it doesn't come about by chance. It comes about by evolution, by natural selection. And that's an explicable and explained and understood process. But a lot of people don't realize that, it, that it's understood. It, it, Was the Earth created in seven days? No. <laughs> for those of you who believe it was, um, for you Christians, uh, let me tell you, then you do not understand the Jewish people. We Jews understand that it did not take place in seven days, and that's because we know what we're good at. And what we're really good at is bullshit. <laughs> this is a wonderful story that was told to the people in the desert in order to distract them from the fact that they did not have air conditioning. We now return to Carl Sagan's Cosmos, edited for Rednecks. I'm Carl Sagan. Just how old is our planet? Scientists believe it's four billion... Hundreds and hundreds of years old. Scientists have determined that the universe was created by a... God! Big Bang. If you look at the bones of a... Jesus! ...Nosaurus Rex, it's clear by the use of carbon dating that... Mountain Dew is the best soda ever made. There never was a first person. There never was a first rabbit or first rhinoceros because every organism ever born belonged to the same species as its parents. And yet because it was so gradual and because it was so slow, uh, not only was our 200 million greats grandparent a fish, but if you go back further still, they were worms and, and, uh, and so on. And one suggestion that's been made is that people really have difficulty grasping the idea that animals turn into other animals so imperceptibly that you can hardly, hardly notice it. It's not actually that paradoxical. It all happened very, very gradually. And you could think of parallels like the fact that you can't see the hour hand on your watch moving. Uh, at some point, we cease to think of ourselves as middle-aged and we start to think of ourselves as old. <laughs> but nobody ever goes to bed middle-aged and wakes up and says, oh, no. <laughs> 